This series shifts locations as we get set for a big one. Game three of the NBA Finals, right here on EA Sports. We're at the Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento. Tonight, it's the Sacramento Kings taking on the Miami Heat. Hi again, everyone. Ed Cohen with my partner, Jay Williams. Jay, you look at the Heat coming into play. They won both games on the road, and now they need just one more to claim the NBA championship. The one thing we know about playoff basketball, expect the unexpected. How many games come down to the wire or a performance off the bench or even a big shot at the end? Every night holds something different, and that's why we love this game so much. Sacramento ball. Leonard to heel. Takes stock of the floor. Heel driving, but his shot misses. Oh, he got a piece of it. Don't stand. He sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. And good work defensively as the pass is taken away. I'm hearing some boos from the crowd. They know just like I know, you're not getting back on D. The pass set it all up. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Here's Leonard for two. Can't connect. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. So many times you can tell if a player is going to finish before he even gets to the rim. Did you see that look on his face? That was a look of a three-point play. You're always going in thinking you can get more at the rim. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. You have to understand something. I do not care that you're one of six from the field. The only statistic that matters is the final score. the three. Oh, good offense beating good defense. I love the pure confidence on that jumper. He takes that three despite the defender being right in front of his face. That's borderline disrespectful. It's good. And one. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Good as he completes the three-point play. The lead is up to six. Kings have the basketball to Bagley. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. Now the Heat going to use a timeout as they'll talk things over in what's now a four-point game. Time for some new personnel into the game. To Butler. 
out of bounds. He was all over him. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. They'll get it down to Leonard. Not that time. Big finish at the rim. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. To healed. He's fouled. Nice move that time, and he's going to the line for two. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Off the mark on the first free throw. Knocks down the second after missing the first. him do the rest slam dunk that has to feel deflating for the other side they've really came out and made a statement so far in this first half another powerful dunk but another easy dunk when are we gonna see some defense right time right player can't teach height Bagley Plenty of contact, the shot no good. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like the mere presence of him in the paint was enough to throw off the concentration of the guy trying to drop the layup in. Tough make through traffic. Defenders had no chance on that one. That's why we call it the elite tier. Kawhi Leonard matched up with Jimmy Butler. Line drive, the shot won't fall. And he finishes at the rim. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Buddy healed. Off the assist. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Miami with the basketball. And the basket good at the rim. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. I got him. I got him. Here we go. Deep three at the buzzer. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Hello, everyone. I'm Jalen Rose, and this is your EA Sports Halftime Report. The Heat are really filling it today with an offense 
that look stunning. The way they play here today makes me think it's not going to stop in the upcoming half. I'm very impressed by their offense, and even better, their team chemistry. These are the guys getting buckets for the Miami Heat. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. It's the Kings now with the ball to Heald. Can't connect from inside. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. To Heald. Leonard. Let's it fly from long range. Shot off the mark. Good defense. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Are utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. To Heald. Scores from the post. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. And a throw down. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. And takes it away. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is yeah. off the charts. Give him two points. High percentage. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Now a whistle. It's going to be a timeout for Sacramento as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. <laughs> Drive here, but the shot stays out. And one of the most underrated things in this game is quick lateral speed. Good job by utilizing that speed and taking away the lane. To Bagley. Cleaning the offensive glass. The Heat grabbed the board. Too much contact and free throws coming. <sighs> Look, I get it. Being down sucks. But you can't just start haphazardly playing defense and committing silly fouls. Play this game with purpose. First one goes down. Oh, yeah, two points. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Get it? Shoot it again. Kings with the ball. Cut 
Rebounded by the Heat. Stuffs it down with authority. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on. But the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. A lot of contact. Shots no good and no foul. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. Oh, emphatic slam. I don't think I could do that on a five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Nothing going here on that drive. That ends the third quarter, and the Heat right now are feeling good. So the Heat will have it to start this fourth and final quarter. And they have done no wrong to this point. They have this game well in control. They took control early and they never let up. The scary thing about this team, if they keep their foot on the gas and then throttle it down, they can win this game by 50. To Leonard. He get control. I'm looking at the bench right now, and the coach is saying, keep pushing it, keep going. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch, and that's what we're seeing tonight. Navigating through trap, stuffs it down with authority. I mean, if you have athletic ability like that guy offensively, as soon as you beat your man, if you don't beat him off the ground for the jump, you have no chance. Not that time. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Leonard to Bagley. Able to convert inside. Go to the foul line to shoot. I don't mind that effort at all. At least they're still out here competing on the defensive end. And hits the first free throw. Gets both to drop at the line. Here comes the screen. To Leonard. The Kings now with four to shoot. Here's a chance from long range. That's off the side of the rim, no good. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Kawhi Leonard can't connect. Defense did its job that time. 
But he healed with the block. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. To Leonard. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance in a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Kawhi Leonard trying to cash in on the three-point play. A career 84% free throw shooter. Off the mark on his free throw. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. Leonard to Heald. Uh, he was smothered and still gets it to go down. And did you see the lift on the shot? Did you see the ball release off the hand? To be able to have the concentration to finish with such a feathery touch in the midst of contact? That's something special to watch. Leonard. The Heat secure the rebound. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Late heave to beat the buzzer. The Heat with the victory. Sheer joy down on the court. They've won the NBA title. For my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been the NBA Playoffs on EA Sports. Find out more at easports.com. Until next time, good night. game wrap up. The Heat have come out on top. Congratulations to them and all of their fans around the world. This is a night they'll never forget. Check out the leading scores, the Miami Heat. The Kings couldn't fight off elimination. Game track. Assists. The Miami Heat play fantastic team basketball today. Ball movement is clearly what separated these two squads. Player of the game. If you asked him, I'm sure he'd give the credit to his teammate and coaches. But at the end of the day, we know that he's the one that made the biggest impact on this game. Who was cold? Top plays, and we've got three of them for you. Number two. Number one.